Let's say you're on Linux and you found a package you want to install. Now from this GitHub repository, we can see we have a link here to copy and paste something into our terminal in order to install this package. So let's go ahead, copy that link, paste it into our terminal and uh oh, this is a virus. Well, of course, this isn't a real virus. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but this could happen to you. Now, here are two very important and easy ways to make sure that what you're downloading actually works and isn't really a virus. Now, first of all, what you can do is you can change this curl command instead of piping it to bash, which will just run the script. You can set the output to some file and then you can inspect that file and check it to make sure that there are no bad commands in there like RM command or any kind of like virus looking commands that you may not want to run on your computer. That's one of the easiest ways. Now, the second way that you could check your files is by checking the checksum. Now, a checksum is a hash that is computed based on the contents of the file. Now, you can check the checksum by running the SHA-256 check command on a SHA-256 file that is provided by whoever might have written this file. So if you check it and it says it's okay, that would be great. Now, if somebody happened to change that file, let's say um, added some malicious code in there like that, then if you check the checksum, it will print out that it is a failed checksum check and you'll get a warning. Now, these are just two very basic ways that you can check and make sure that you don't install a virus on your system. Now, if you want to learn more about Bash or Vim or Linux, then check out typecraft.dev and hey, thanks nerds.